Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we're going to have a quick discussion about Windows 11 25H2, what it can expect from Windows 11 25H2, and also possible release dates for certain categories of users. So in this video, as always, we're going to discuss everything that we know so far about Windows 11 25H2. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Paste channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, to get things out of the way, if there are people here that still believed that Windows 12 could have been a thing this year. Well, that is not the case. The next version of Windows and the next version of Windows 11 will be Windows 11 25H2, which most likely will have a pretty similar timeline as 24H2, which was released last year. A huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter and also Zach Bowden because I've gathered information from both about Windows 11 25H2, about the timeline and more. One thing you may have noticed, this month, in the month of February, in the better channel, Channel and in the dev channels, we received the same builds. Well, that was because the beta channel has moved on to 24H2. Now the beta channel, as stated by Microsoft, should be moving to 25H2, maybe even today, but most likely early March, if not today. So we're gonna have the first 25H2 builds very, very soon in the Windows Insider program, most likely in the dev channel. Now I know there are people that would want to know what new features can we expect from 25H2. Well, in my opinion, as a normal user and as a Windows user for a lot of years, Windows 11 25H2 could be a bit disappointing for some because most likely Microsoft will focus on a lot of AI features in Windows 11 25H2. So I don't think Windows 11 25H2 will have more or even the same number of features as 24H2, but of course we will have to see more about that. But from what we know so far, what we've tested in the Windows Insider program, in the dev channel, in the Canary channel, that is pretty much the route that we're going with. Now talking about the 20 25H2 release. First of all, there is still a debate. We don't know for sure if 25H2 will be a cumulative update, which will be basically a version change and the feature will slowly roll out, or it will be a totally separate build that will move on to 25H2. There is still a debate, but I'm assuming that it will be quite the same thing as with Windows 11 24H2. Related to release, according to Zach Bowden, Selenium, which is the platform on which 25H2 is based, could come as RTM in roughly four weeks by the end of March and it should officially go out to OEMs in early April again, which is what happened with Germanium, which was for 24H2. Basically, this means that the first versions of 25H2 will be released to original equipment manufacturers, companies that create laptops that come pre-installed with Windows, which will have 25H2 earlier than normal users. But for us normal users who are testing inside our builds, we should see a build jump for the active dev channel inside our program from 25,000 to something higher, maybe today or most likely next week. And the release timeline for 25H2 should be something pretty similar to 24H2 as I've said. The release preview channel should get it in the spring and the general availability should come in September, October, where we'll also most likely get the Copilot Plus things, the recall feature and so on that only applies for Copilot Plus PCs as I've said. But as a short recap, Windows 11 25H2 is the next Windows version which will be released this year. You should not expect something big from 25H2. Microsoft is apparently focusing on more AI features, which most of the users won't have to deal with because, as I've said, most of the new AI features are only for Copilot Plus PCs. The release preview channel build should come in the spring, and the official build or the official release should be in September, October, as it was with 24H2. Of course, in the article below, I'll provide more information about everything, so if you want to also check that out, feel free to do so. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.